Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Come in. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 God, we love you. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you. Let me know where you're chiming in from. Hallelujah. 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 Let me know where you're chiming in from. Hallelujah. Let me know your name. Octavia Davis, Sawana Gardner, God bless you. How are you? Miss Young, how are you? How is everyone? Tamara Oates, how are you? Let me know where you're coming in from. I'm not going to be up here long. Hallelujah. 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 Baton Rouge, God bless you. It's so good to have you on with me. Matthew Watson and uh, Jean Wignall. Uh, bless you. How was everybody? How was everybody? Long Beach, California is with us. Nicole Barnes, Jennifer Lynch, LaKenya Engelberg. Bless you. Tamika Nicole. God bless you. Prophetic voice, L Lydia Crawford. How are you? Anthony Pearson. How are you, sir? D Reese, Regina McLean. God bless you, Apostle. Listen to me. Uh, um, uh, hallelujah. For the power of God, Quinn Cleves, God bless you, Sharon Burns, to, to Shia Nicole, Andrea Richardson, Octavia Barnes, how are you, Jasmine Merritt, how are you, how are you, Civil Spring is with us tonight, Jasmine, God bless you, listen to me, I was, uh, just finished the, the word network, um, typically I don't try to jump on, I am, I have been in a place Nicole Barnes, listen to me. Nicole Barnes, Nicole Barnes, listen to me. The Lord, as soon as I saw your name, you need to hear this. You want to once need to hear this word. You need to hear this word. I, I was in prayer. I was in prayer. And I'm not somebody that, 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 that do all. I'm not somebody that do lives and stuff like that on what God is saying for the year. Because I believe you can't command your day. You cannot command your year. You can't command your year. And and I was in prayer earlier for the word network. I had to do a word network taping a few minutes ago in Bishop Davis' stead. And I was sitting there and I was praying to God. And I really, Crystal, Karina, Eric, I love y'all. I, I was praying to God. I said, Lord, uh, what do you want me to tell the people of God? God didn't say anything. God didn't say nothing to me. I am someone that's very candid, very frank. Even New Year's night, the only thing God told me was, thou shall not fear. And I left it there. Beverly, you all need to share this because this is a prophetic word for those concerning this year, 2021. Listen to me. I'm not somebody... Many of y'all know my ministry. I'm not someone that come on and say, oh, the Lord told me, you know, uh, uh, this person, death. I'm not, I don't do it. I'm going to give you what the Lord told me. I was in prayer and I was really seeking God. And I said, Lord, what do you want to tell the people of God? Uh, I just, I, the word network and people are needing a word. People need a word. For their situations. Prophet Delaney, my friend, my brother, love you. People need a word. Uh, Marcus Miller, you need to hear this. People need a word concerning where they are. And, 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 and most folk that follow my ministry know I'm not somebody just get on and, oh, the Lord told me. He, no, the Lord told me. He said, Oren, John chapter 1, verse 14. He said, in the beginning was the word. And the word the Bible says, John chapter 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. But John chapter 1, verse 14 says, And the Word, the Kadeba, became flesh. Flesh. The Word became flesh. I could touch it. I could feel it. That, 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 that Word was Jesus. 42 generations. 42 
generations. Jesus came through 42 generations. From Abraham to Jesus, there are 42 generations he came through. When you look at the genealogy according to Matthew and Luke, and you look at the 21st generation, the generation that died, what the generation that died for Jesus to manifest was 21. At 21, it was Uzziah. We know Uzziah in Isaiah chapter 6. And King, the day that King Uzziah died, the Lord was high and lifted up. And God told me to prophetically decree and declare that this is for the people that have seen your Uzziah die. You've seen family die. You've seen job opportunities die. Opportunities, covenants have died. God said it died so the word could become flesh. The word could become flesh. And the Lord told me to tell you that this is the year that the word will manifest. I know folk have been saying stuff. I know people have been saying a lot of things. This is the year that you do not need to fear because the word is becoming flesh. Those concepts, the dreams that God is giving you, the things that God is giving you, they are becoming flesh. And every diabolic scheme that has come against your family, that has came against your mind, that's came against who you are, the word is becoming flesh. This is the year that you will see the word become flesh. It's not until the 42nd generation that the word became flesh. If you look at Hebrews 11, the 11th chapter all the way down to the last verses. Chapter, I think it's verse 42. The Bible, verse 44 up in there. The Bible says all of these died. Abraham, the father of faith, Jacob and Esau. The Bible says Abel rather died and Moses died. None of them sold the promise. The Bible says none of them sold the promise, but when 42 hit, 21 plus 21 is 42. I'm telling you this year that God is going to manifest the word and your word is becoming, it's going to grow eyes, it's going to grow ears. It's going to go hands, it's going to go feet. And I come to tell you, I know people have been talking. I know people have been saying stuff. I'm not somebody to just jump up here and tell you, oh, the Lord said this. No, this is the year that God's going to manifest the word over your life. Whether that word was a curse or that word was a blessing. You're going to see that word walk out the heavens, walk out of the spirit ram and walk in your life. I'm t Michael Fleming, I'm, t I'm telling you now, if I'm a prophet of God, everything that's been held up, the concepts, the frustration, the tears you've cried, the frustration you've experienced, there is a manifestation where the word becomes flesh. Let me tell you what God told me. God said, tell the people of God to sow $42. And I said, God, why do you want me to sow? God said, you just do what I tell you to do. And I said, all right, God. God said, because Jesus, even though he was God in the flesh, <laughs> listen to this, even though he was God in the flesh, he became, watch this, a seed in the womb before he grew into a man. He was first a seed before he became a prophet. He was first a seed before he became the high priest. He was first a seed before he was crucified. The seed, uh, Lord, I'm right. Lord have mercy. I come to tell you today for all you all listening to me that feel like Lord, I, God has forgot about me. The word becomes flesh. I'm, t I'm challenging you today. I'm not somebody that begin on live. Lately, I've been coming on live, coming on live. That I've been, this is my, this is my second time this year on live, and I have been on live. The past, if you watch my, my tenure, you all know I'm only on TV. I'm only on lies concerning the prophetic panel, and Monday night, I am here to tell you that you need to sow that 42. The word of the Lord is becoming flesh. I know what people have said. Perry Jones, I want you to hear me. The calling of God on you, I don't care how far you go, Perry Jones. I don't care. I don't care if you travel to California. Who God ordained you to be is going to live. And the frustration that God has over your life, the anger that you've been dealing with, it looks like you get a hair and looks like something always hits you and hits you. God said to tell you that the word of the Lord is going to become flesh.
There's manifestation. There are miracles that are going to hit the house of God. I am here to tell you. I'm not somebody to call folk names out like that, but I'm coming to, I'm coming to you live. So that 42. I'm telling so that 42. I am telling you he was a seed before he became a prophet. He was a seed before he manifested into what God said. So that 42 right now. Listen, I, I looked at that and for years I preached about Jesus becoming the word and all. But I've never seen that the 21st generation that he came through was Uzzah. Uzzah and the year that Uzzah died. The year that Perry Jones, you got to start your own your own corporation, your own business. There is a business in you. There is a business that God wants out of you. It may sound like it's too far. It may sound like it's too far for you to do. Listen to me. The days of you working for other people have to come to an end. Because God is calling you to your own empire. You better hear this word. God's calling you to lead your own. And you will see. That the spirit of God is real. God's going to prove himself to you again. He's going to prove himself to you again. I'm telling that 42. So that 42 now. The cash app is there. I'm not for nobody. Money. I don't need your money. But just yours. My name is Owen Perry. I'm sending a seat to my bishops. I'm, see, I'm giving a different level. I'm giving at a different level. I'm giving at a different level. I'm not just giving for it. I'm not giving. I'm not just giving for it. I, say, I give it a different level because I, I live in a different tax bracket. A different level of faith. So I give it a different level. For those that are, are, are entrepreneurs, I'm, I'm challenging you to a $142 seat. I'm telling you, this is the year that you're going to see us I die. And the word going to manifest. I'm telling you, this is the year that you're going to see. For all those that have seen people hurt, all those that have seen people walked over, all of you are watching me right now. I have 80 plus people now. Some of you all are entrepreneurs. You've been sitting around waiting on God. You've been waiting on God to say something to you. I am here to tell you, move today. Your other got to die in order for your Messiah to come. The manifested word of God. I'm telling you, it's going to grow hands. This is the year your prophecy, what God promised you, is going to grow hands. It's going to grow ears. It's going to grow eyes. Manifestation is, I know folks said that year was, a, I'm telling you, I'm not somebody to do these annual years. The Lord told me, God didn't tell me none of that. God, God just told me today. He said, this is the year that I bring manifestation. And he's not going to manifest just for the church. He's manifesting for your individual life. For those that are sowing that 42, I need you to do it now. I need you to do it now. You entrepreneurs, I need you to believe God. Somebody said, prophet ain't got that. Give 21. B believe God on your level. Do not hear this word and don't do it. I'm telling you, don't you hear it today and don't do it. I am not somebody to get on no lives just to, oh, let me just to get up here and just say something. No, uh-uh. You watch my tenure, my track record. These prophets are so live so much that God, God ain't doing all the talking. God, I've been struggling to hear God for 2021. And the Lord said manifestation. That's all God told me. He said, I'm going to manifest. Why need a Christian? You're going to see manifestation. Why need it? If I'm a, ah! Uh, you're going to see manifestation. You're going to see manifestation in your life. You're going to see manifestation in your love life. You've been wanting to be loved. You're going to be loved at a different level. Ryan Pickett, I am here to tell you that it looks like God has forgot about some of us. Some of you all have been supporting and giving and supporting and giving and believing God for everybody else. You didn't matter of fact, you were everybody else's midwife to help their prophetic word come to pass for their word to manifest. You went inside of their womb and pulled out what they needed. God told me to tell you that manifestation is coming this year. It ain't just my year. I know folk been saying this is my year. Okay, God bless you. No folk been saying this is the hour. I know, I know. Nah, -uh, uh uh. It ain't my hour. It ain't my time. It's, watch this, it ain't my time, nor it's my turn. This was not in the plan. <laughs> this won't even end the plan. What God is going to do for you is going to blow your mind. It wasn't even planned. It wasn't even planned for you. Some of you all saying, Prophet, ain't got 42, ain't got 21. Give 42 cent. You'll be a crazy person to hear this word and not believe God today. 
I want you to do it now. That $42, I'm waiting you to write done because I'm going to give a prayer in a few minutes concerning us that believe God right now. This is the year that manifestation will come to everything God promised you. But first, us, I had to die. The 21st generation of Christ, us, I had to die. Us, I had to die. It had to leave you. It had to be broken. It had to hurt. It had, you had to be backstabbed. You had to be mishandled. You had to be disdained. You had to be walked over. It had to be sabotaged. It had to be crucified. But listen, Azar's death was the Messiah's activation. It continued. Lord, it continued his manifestation. I'm to, that 42. Do it now. I've been asking for 42. And I said, Lord, 42, 42 years. God said, no, 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 Oren. Mm -mm, mm -mm. He said, I want you to ask. Because this, you, you sold for the realm of revelation there. He said, no, but you're sowing for the manifestation here. You, no, this is a different manifestation. This is the year that we will see manifestation. Man, I fest. Man, I will confess. Man, I'm going to say that God did this. For every last you entrepreneurs, Sharona, Sharona P Peter can listen to me, woman of God. If I'm a prophet of God, the Lord is coming to your house. Ryan Pickett, listen to me, man of God. I'm not somebody that, see, see, one thing about me as a prophet of God, I just don't be calling folk names out. Oh, this is what I feel. No, 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 no. You got to hear a sure word this year. This is for the folk that are sure concerning what God said. Listen to me. Uzzah's death was Christ's manifestation. Uzzah had to die in order for Christ to come. So that 42. Listen to me. I know several of y'all are saying, Prophet Perry, I believe God hasn't heard this before. I heard it all before, but I'm telling you that one, Michael Fleming, I'm telling you, man of God, you're an entrepreneur. You've been sitting there. Watch this picket. Ryan Pickett, if I'm a prophet of God, God's going to expose you at another level. And God, the light is not going to come to you through the vein that you've been thinking. You've been looking for God to do it this way. But God said, I'm coming this way. And when I come this way, he's going to manifest. They thought he was going to come on a horse. They thought the Messiah was going to be born to an already made queen. They thought he was going to be born in a palace, but he came in a manger. And I've come to tell you this is the year that your manifestation is going to come from a, uh, this cannot be. What? Is this manner? What is this? I didn't expect this. I didn't even look for this. I didn't even listen. I, the stuff I forgot about. Look, I got to, I'm gonna leave it alone. Manifestation. I'm telling. I'm looking for you to sow. I'm, there are twelve of you. So that forty two. You entrepreneurs, that's the problem with these entrepreneurs. We want entrepreneur money, but we don't understand entrepreneur investment. You got to sow on a level that you believe. That 142. Some of you saying, Prophet, I believe God, do it now. I'm telling you, your husband is waiting to manifest. Husband is waiting to manifest. Wife, he's waiting for your manifestation. And when a man finds a wife, I'm telling you, this is the year that God's going to call manifestation. Sarah Holmes, Ashley Cache, Liz Crystal Ebron. I'm telling you, this is the year. Tomorrow, Oaks, you better hear me. Your love life going to see grace. You're going to see favor in uncommon places. I hear God. Hey. You're going to see God in uncommon places. You're going to find him in the least smokely like places that he would never be. He's going to be there. This is the year that manifestation is coming to you. I felt the power of God. I was on the word and I just got off and I said, oh, let me, let me just go. Young, listen to me. Manifestation. Young, go buy a new pen. Go buy some pens. Go buy an expensive pen and practice writing your name because God said he's going to brand your name. This is the year he's going to brand your name. Tomorrow, Green Hill, that 142, believe God this year. I'm not just playing no games. Listen, that, that's why I can, and I was like, God, God, why, well, God, why I got to tell folk to sow? You know, I kept asking God, God, why I got to tell folk to sow? You know, I'm, I'm a prophet at this time of the year, things, and you know, sometimes I say, I just want to get to God. I said, no, he said, even my son was a seed. He said, even my son was a seed. He said, how dare you expect him to be a prophet before you first honor him as a seed? I said, look, and it, it blew my mind. 
He said, my son was a seed. My son was a seed. Before he was a prophet. Before he was a prophet. He said, how dare you want the prophet, want the prophecy, and you don't honor him as a seed first. You better believe God. You better believe God. This is the year that God's going to manifest what he said. Quitting, hear God. I, I see you making shirts, like shirts right there. And I just saw you making shirts, like, like shirts. Some about shirts. Listen to me, man of God. I don't care if you don't have the passion for it. Do it. There's wealth in it. There's a concept God is giving you. It may sound crazy. There's a concept that God's going to give you. I've been telling my sons and daughters in the ministry, this is what you need to do. They moving slow for you, move slack. This is not the hour to move slow for or slack. This is the hour that he says, I am not slack concerning the promises <laughs> concerning you. I'm taking the cash up there. I want you to do it. Seed again, sow it again. Some of you say, I gave it, give again. Believe God again. Some of you are, you need to give because of the fact you didn't believe the first time. You didn't honor him the first time. You didn't do it the first time. You didn't move the first time. You better do it now. I'm telling you tomorrow, Oaks, believe. Quentin Clays, I'm telling you, I don't know nothing about no shirts. Listen, Quentin, I don't know. Do you make shirts? I just saw some shirts, like shirts. Design, you, you better do it this year. This year, because if you don't move with this manifestation, you're going to be left. You're going to be left. You're going to be left. This is the year. Don't play with what God said. I had to repent to God. I have books all in my head. Books all in my head, all in here. And I said, God, these books. And the Lord said to me, he said, you ain't been writing. I said, God, I have been writing. God said, no, 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 no. Get them out of you. Get those books out of you. He said, I can't give you more because your mind's so cluttered with antique prophecies. Many of y'all got antique prophecies, antiquated words, because you ain't done nothing with it. Get it out of your mind. God can't give you more. There can't be a manifestation for more unless you do with what he already gave you. I'm telling you, I'm telling you the year of manifestation. I don't know what else nobody told nobody. Listen, and one thing about God, let me tell you something about these words, these, these annual words. This word can evolve. Because when he manifests one thing, he'll manifest another thing. And watch this. And some of you all, this is the year for preparation. Some of you all, this is the year. Watch this, a peace. This is the year to shut your mouth. This is the year. See, everybody don't understand. You are in a different place. This is the hour you have to seek God for your own soul salvation. And the prophetic word that God has been giving me, tomorrow green here, I prophesy that money find you from every dimension of your life that haters will give to you, that new clientele will find you. I speak to you you now that the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just for you sowing that 142 you entrepreneurs i am not just talking to people that want this is the hour where your faith got to go where you see yourself giving on another level i am sitting in a building i know goodness well the favor of god should not have given us but when you understand god this is the year you saying prophet i'm an entrepreneur how are you an entrepreneur and you don't have nothing to show for it. Believe God, this is the year that manifestation. I tell you, God, I, I was sitting for all year. I got books. I, God rebuked Orrin Perry. God said, no, you got, you ain't even did nothing. Half of last year, I've been talking about my new book. And I said, oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do it. God rebuked Orrin Perry. God said to me, he said, I will not release nothing else to you until you do what he said. Do you do what I told you to do? I'm telling you, my mind in a different place now. My, my mind in a different dimension. I ain't got time for this little peasant stuff, that petty stuff. I ain't got time, watch this, to be feeding folk that don't want to eat. You ain't got time to be pulling. Let us I die. Let us I die. Some of you all keep trying to revive us I. Watch this, your 21 means us I got to die. Let us I die. Let it die. Let it go. Let some of these people go. Let some things die. Let some, some of y'all trying to revive relationships and stay on a job as a, just an employee. When God wants you to encounter your own enterprise, don't you dare underestimate what God said. I'm telling you, this is our manifestation. When, when, when you look at 42, Jesus was the 42nd generation. When you look at 21, Uzziah was the 21. 
when Uzzah died, then God was highly lifted. That didn't mean God was high. That meant, watch this, the continuation of God's promise. I, I, Lord, Lord, I'm, I'm going to lose my mind. The continuation, y'all want to get this. The continuation. I saw God highly lifted. That was the continuation of Christ. It wasn't until his death that was just the continuation of Christ was was ignited, was accelerated. He was, as I had to die. Some of y'all, your job opportunity, stuff got to die. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it had to die. Lord, it had to, that thing wore me out. God said, they're trying. God said, they trying to honor my son as a prophet when they didn't honor him as a seed. God said, that's why you sow. You honor him as a seed before you honor him as a prophet. For you honor him as Jehovah Jireh. For you honor him as Jehovah Rapha. He was a seed first in the womb of a woman. This is the year that relationships, 2020, 2020, when you let that stuff go, manifestation is finally come. Restoration. I'm telling you, I talked to one of my sons. and He's up here now, Marcus Miller. I told him some the other day. I told him, I said, go back and pick up your dream. Go back and pick up what God said. Go back to what God said. Don't you let doubt. Don't you let fear. Don't you let people's behavior. Don't you let what people think about you kill your manifestation. Go back. Don't you dare let, watch, and this is what people do. If you're not careful, you'll make your Jesus your other. You'll make what God manifested your other. You'll make them, you'll make them, you'll let them kill it. You'll let them kill it. You'll let them kill it. You'll let them destroy your manifestation. I'm telling you, go back, pick up your dream. Go back and pick it up. I'm telling you, listen. God rebuked Orrin Perry. I got books. I have I have songs in my head that, my, that our band had made. Uh, we 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 we've been talking about it for years. And the Lord said, "How dare you?" He said, "That's why I can't advance you." He said, "Because you're cluttered. You're cluttered." He said, "He said you're a hoarder. You are a hoarder. You're you." He said, "The prophetic words you've gotten." Well, said, see, 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 one thing about me is that I'm real with myself. You know, I'm real. Go back. He said. You, 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 you hoard in prophecies. You think I could do it in my own time. You better go back. For those that are sowing that 42, for those that want, you better pray, pick up your dream. Roger Spurgeon, I'm telling you, go back, your, your music, go back, man. I don't care how it feels, Spurgeon. You better hear me. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care if nobody want to hear the tune. There's a people that are waiting for you. There's a manifest. This manifestation is for everybody else. It ain't just for you. It ain't just for you. Go back, man. I'm telling you. Go back. I told a, a musician yesterday in box. He said, Prophet Perry, I need a prayer. I told him the problem is you've been sitting on what God ordained. You've been sitting on it in the name of Jesus. Sitting on it. You better do it now. That 42. That 142. Somebody said, Prophet, I ain't got to do that 21. I'm telling you, as I got to die in order for the Messiah to, to enter the earth realm. I'm telling you, God, God ain't God waiting on you. That's it, Roderick. God waiting on you. We've been sitting down. Oh, he was waiting on Mary to say, Lord, yes. <sighs> Complete your books. Go back and pick up your businesses. Manifestation is coming. This is the first of the year. This is the first of the year. Folk been acting like, oh, where my money? Funny, I don't care nothing about my state of money. Most of you all are broke because you refuse to pick up your prophecy and put it to work. You refuse to push out your manifestation. It was not until Mary went in a manger and pushed him out that God released. Jennifer, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you, beloved. I'm praying. I tell you, I've been waiting on you and your sister. I don't know why y'all playing games. I don't know why you're playing games. Come here. I've been waiting on you. I'm waiting on the people of God. You got dreams in you, manifestation in you. You're not called to serve other folk. How aren't you tired of waking up to another man's go? Aren't you tired of waiting, listening to another man say, sit down here, clock out now, clock in here, do work today. You don't work this day. You got to beg for a day off. When it's your anniversary, beg for a day off. You better wake up and hear what God is saying. I'll let, I'll let threats, I'm prophesying. 
over your life. That manifestation is coming. Do it now. That, that 42. Some of you need to double it. I'm telling you, double it. And then don't let the devil see you pick up a pen and put it on paper. I ain't going to deal with that. Folk, man telling you, get, get, get clock out. Get up. Sit down. Get the clock out. You got to work this weekend. I'm telling you, Crystal, I prophesy in the next three months that God will send you the kidney transplant, the kidney you need. I speak to you now that your body will regulate until it comes. I bind every diabolic scheme against you. I speak fire of the Holy Ghost to enter your body and that you, your body will flow. It will function and it will function at the level God ordained it to be. I speak to you now that while you're sowing that 42, that God will begin to activate it now. I know a God from years ago. I prophesied to a woman of God, matter of fact, up here, her granddaughter, the baby, she had a baby that needed half of the brain wasn't there. Baby grew, was growing with half a brain. I speak to you that the miracle working power of God is going to grow. Ah! That, 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 that kidney will work and that you will be a living testimony that God can. In Jesus' name, we speak to you now. Speak to your body, woman. Don't you let your body speak to you. Speak to it. You command it. Live. Work. Flow right. In Jesus' name. Woman, yeah. Change your diet. 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 And watch God bring your body into health. Divine alignment. Says the spirit of grace. Hallelujah. I got to go. For those so in that 42, this is your manifestation. Some of you all are frustrated working for. You working for everybody else. You working. I'm, t I'm, I'm, not, I'm not calling for folk. I, and I hate to say it like this, that the job applicants, that's the level of your faith. This ain't for you. I'm talking to folk that know your tax bracket. You are late making your first million. You are late making your first million. You are late making your first million dollars. You are late breaking your tax bracket. You are late shifting your tax bracket. If I am a prophet of God, if you sow that 42, that 142, restoration, manifestation is coming to you now. I'm telling you, this is the year that manifestation. I, I, I typically don't get on lives. I felt the power of God so strong after the word network. I'm I was like, Lord, what in the world going on with me? And God said, prophesy to them. Tell them what I told you. I just, I just was talking to 90 million homes. Now, I'm, I'm in your house on your phone. It's going to happen. I'm telling you. I, I felt the power of God so strong. God told me, he said, you late making your first million. He said, tell them that. You are late making your first million. I'm telling you. There's a man of God watching me right now. Mm, Lord, I hear you. There's one of you all watching me that need to sow a $500 seed. God said 500. He said it represents the next five months. The next five months, your life going to line up so unique. So unique. So unique. Everything's going to line up. I don't know who it is. You can do it in private. I don't know who it is. Believe God today. The same anointing that hit me six years ago while I was homeless, it hit me. When I begin to believe God for my book, I have a book, I am prophecy. Right now, you can't even get it. It's going for $50 on Amazon. And I was saying, why my book so high? And I called Amazon and Amazon told me, they said, sir, your book done sold out. He said, we can't keep it in stock. And I said, Lord, why? Because I'm here to tell you, Latoya, I'm here to tell you that your businesses, listen to me. I'm not just somebody up here telling you this. Manifestation is coming. It's coming. Old clientele going to die, new coming. Stuff going to start happening you never thought would happen for you. Listen. It's your time. Listen, it's your time. Michelle Wooded, it's your time. Michelle Wood, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Happy New Year to everybody, but Happy New Year. This is your time. And when it happens, I, I want to hear from you. 
I want to hear from you. Inbox me personally. No staff ain't going to get it. Nobody ain't going to say nothing. I'm going to read it and I'm going to respond because I want to know those that believe God. I want those. The, the, see, 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 Melissa Mason, I love that. It's my time. Decree and declare it over your life. But listen, sweetheart, if it ain't your time, if it ain't your plan, if it ain't your turn, this, this release ain't even in the plan. It's just going to happen. You're going to wake up on a, on a gloomy day. You're going to wake up on a Wednesday and boom, whoop, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Like, man, I'm telling you, my book, I picked up that book. I've been editing that book. I've been editing. I know I'm going to edit this book. I edit. I'm reading. I got so impatient with myself. I said, I don't want to do that. God told me this is the year that you better pick it up. Manifestation is coming. So that 42, that 142. You entrepreneurs, I'm talking to you. Ashley Williams at 142. Listen to me. That 142. Your businesses. I'm telling you. Y'all saying, Lord, I believe God. See, that's the problem. Entrepreneurship. You can't be an entrepreneur. You don't understand entrepreneur investment. And God kept telling me, he said, they sowing for the profit, but ain't sowing for the seed. They, they, they don't see him as a seed first. Believe God. Sharon Stokes, believe him. That 42. Believe him. I, I got to go. I got to go. Believe God, the cash app is there. Folk inboxing me. Matter of fact, somebody just inbox right there. Say, Prophet, how can I give? I'm telling you, you can give right now. Get that 42, that 142. Some of you need to give 100. Some of y'all done sold 142. So $100 with it. Believe God this day. Share this live with your brother and sister. You believe God for you. Don't be stingy. It's going to be a whoop. There it is. I believe God. I believe God. I believe God, I believe God, no fear, no fear, no fear, no fear. Don't you fear this one. Walk in faith, believe him, believe him. Jesus was a seed first before he was your prophet. He was your seed first before he was your prophet. Before he was a seed first before he was your high priest. He was a seed first. You better believe God today. You better believe God today. I'm telling you. People are calling our operators over there now. I got a text right then saying folk are dialing, calling in. Folk, I'm I believe God for me. When God rebuked me this year, it was at the beginning of the New Year's night. I went home and God, I couldn't sleep. And God said, he said, you, you didn't make, he said, you didn't replace, <laughs> you didn't replace your prophecy. He said, with, with, your own concept. Pro the, your prophecy is God's concept. You don't replace that with yours. I believe God, this is the year I'm going to see it. I don't care how hard it get, how frustrated I get, how angry I get. Go back to when you first found God, what got you where you are, and push. Get up and push. Get up and push. Keep driving. I'm telling you, keep driving, you entrepreneurs, you fathers that feel like the, the, the baby mama crazy, you mothers that feel like the baby daddy crazy, whatever your tactic is. I'm telling you, God rebuked Orrin Perry. I know I'm a prophet. I can hear God for you. But it's a different thing when I can't hear God for me. He rebuked me. And he set all these books in your head, all the melodies you done made up, and you sitting here, and somebody waiting on you. You late making your first million, man. Ma'am, you late making your first million. Concepts, you done got distracted. You, you, you done let the man get in the way. Let the woman get in the way. Let love get in the way. What love got to do with this one? Love ain't got nothing to do with this. Don't let nobody get in the way of your manifestation. Because the devil know if you can push out your Messiah, the word become flesh, the whole world going to be impacted by it. The whole world going to see. The whole world going to be impacted by this one. This is the one. The concept, this is the year. Your Uzzah got to die. 21, Uzzah going to die so it can ignite, activate, put into motion your Messiah. 
Jesus came at 42. I tell you that 42. Some of you say, Prophet ain't got that dude at 21. Prophet ain't got that dude a dollar and 42 cent. Prophet ain't got that dude $10 and 42 cent. You better believe God today. You better not give up on your children. You better not give up on your family. You better not give up on anybody. This is the year. Get it in your hand. Get it in your mind. Sow that 42. I don't, listen, listen. These prophets be on these lies because they need to be. Because they, they, they depend on folk to pay their light bill, not me. Mm -mm, I'm not there. You've been distraction. Stuff that distracted me. I, I gotten so distracted. I was so distracted with trying to help everybody else and keep everybody else in line that I did not know I'd miss God for myself. I missed him. I missed him. My us, I got to die. The number nine represents new beginning. Uh, eight represents new beginning, but number nine represents the orders of God, but also represents turmoil, dealing with your turmoil, deal with your warfare, deal with your dysfunction, deal with the calamity. You better hear it. You better hear it. Amy Porter, you better hear it. Teresa Toes, you better hear it. Lynette Smith, you better hear it. Ashley Williams, you better hear it. Deal with your Uzzah so your Messiah can come. Your word become flesh. Well, my name is Oren Perry, Dr. Oren Perry, Prophet Oren Perry. I come to you live here in the House of Mandate. Just finished recording in the greatest spot of his grace, Bishop Greg Davis. I Listen, you better look out this year because Oren Perry coming. I'm telling you, new website, new books, I'm going to write till my finger fall off. I'm, I'm going to drive this year because I realize it's going to pay off in the end. I'm, my word got to become flesh. You hear me? And the word becomes flesh. So that 42. So that 142. Sow it. Sow it. Why play with it? So that 142. Robin, uh, Robin, I want your information. I tell you I want your information. My staff can call you today. We're going to pray with you today. You're always a constant, a consistent face. Yeah, we, we in full throttle now, Michelle. Full throttle. Hitting the, I'm hitting the gas. I'm doing it. I'm telling you. It ain't, uh-uh, uh-uh. We, we, we can't preach in churches, so we got to preach a different way. Put it in a book. Can't put it in a book, put it on the radio. Can't put it on the radio, put it on Facebook. Put it on social media. Put it in the air. This is the year that you better get that out your head. And call for the word to become flesh. I'm telling you, this is my year. I told, I, I gave God a promise. I said, Lord, nope. Mm -mm. I didn't gave too many people time and chance. That 142. Robin was one of the ones that believed God. Robin was. I'm telling you, I, I, I had to go back and vow to God. I vowed to God. I made a vow to God. I was like, Lord, I'm sorry. I had to tell God I'm sorry. I had, to, I had to repent. Robin was one of the ones that sold a thousand dollars in our ministry for her marriage. I'm telling you, the word becomes flesh this year. I believe God for you. I love you. Praying God over you. Listen, you want prayer? Dial the number, 252-371-1773. Shamika, you up here, write it up there. I'm telling you, Tony Hayward, yes, you can. I don't care what you do. I, I, whatever you do, see, man, Tony Hayward, believe God. Jasmine Jackson, Julia McNair, Beverly Smart, believe God. That cash up right there, that 42. Some of you can do the 600. Some of you can do 1,000. That stimulus was. Somebody called me the other day and said, Prophet Barry, listen, I, I don't need the stimulus. I just want to sort into the church. Uh, they called, and I said, sure. One, one of the trusted pastors said, I want to sow into your ministry. I said, mm, I don't No, He said, no, I'm going to do that. And so you do God. You believe God. You want to dial the number right there. We praying for you. Robin, make sure you call that number and leave a message. We're going to call you back today. The staff waiting on you. I'm waiting on you. You're one of the key people I want to talk to today. I'm going to make sure they transfer you to me. I'm praying for you. Love you. You got it. You got just what you need. All right? This is the year.
that manifestation is coming to your house. Your house. And stop acting broke. You ain't broke. Say, I'm in between miracles. There ain't no such thing I ain't got. Mm -mm. I'm just waiting for my tree to blossom again and give me some more fruit so I can give those. You ain't broke. I, bet I said to my church, we ain't broke. Ain't no such thing as broke around me. We don't use that B word. We are the elect of God. We're called by God. We walk in the wealth of God. We walk in there and we ain't broke. I could lose my job and get another one. I could lose, I'm telling you. I, I got folk right now lost the job, got one next week. Folk lost the car, got it the next week. Because one thing about us, when you talk about the prosperity of God, prosperity is not money. It is, it is the power to grow. Roger Spurgeon, I want you to call for prayer. Call 252-371-1773. Renee Bradley, do it now. It's your turn. Jeremiah Gaddy, I believe God for your ministry. Lori Young, I believe God for you. Listen. We are not broke. We've been saving our money all year and doing stuff with our money. We buy what we want to buy. Nope, we're going to start honoring God with our wealth. We honor God with our wealth. I'm telling you, if it, I told a pastor, me and Prophet Delaney was talking about this the other day. I mean, he was talking, and, and, and Prophet Delaney said to me, he was saying, it's amazing how people believe in God but don't believe in the principle that he was a seed. I said, yeah, he was a seed. That thing wore me to pieces. Before he was your Messiah, he was our seed. We not broke. Nah, they ain't us. Nope. I'm in between blessings. Budget your money. Tithe. Sow when it's time to sow. Like words like this, you need to be sowing like crazy. And believe God. All right? I love you. Praying God's blessing over you. You got it. You got just what you need. Honor God. Honor him. Renee Bradley, honor him. Honor him. Those that believe you're sowing their thousand dollars. People that sold 142, 20, whatever your level is, give on your level. On your level. I'm telling you, it's your time. It's your hour. All right? I love you with the love of God. I, I mean, I love God's people. I love God's people. And for those that that my slack, my slowful, my, my um, procrastination, my uh, tardiness have offended. As for your apology, because, because folks saying, what do you mean? You ain't done anything. Yes, I have. Because if you've been waiting on the material. You've been waiting on my download from God to help you get where you got to go. In order to get to number 42, there got to be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There got to be a number. There got to be a 41 before there's a 42. There got to be a 40 before there's a 41. And I may have been your number 10. I may have been your number 15. I may have been your number 31. I may have been your number 37. You've been waiting on me for my book, for my stuff. You've been waiting on the, the prophetic gathering. You've been waiting on the prophetic class. You've been waiting on the website. You've been waiting on me. Some, some, I don't, you never know who you inspire. You never know it. And, and people around the world say it to me all the time, Prophet Perry, I'll be waiting to hear from you and waiting to see what you're going to do. And people get mad at me. I had people inbox me, Prophet, we ain't heard nothing from you. You've been silent. And I said, all right, I'm trying to hear God. I was dragging my feet. That's it, Melissa. I sure was. I was dragging them on purpose. Because sometimes, don't you dare. And this is another thing for a lot of you all that's going to help deliver you. Don't you dare forsake the 99 for the one. That's God's job. He left the 99 for the one, not your job. Don't you let that one make you doubt everything that's designed to impact the 99. Don't you dare let that, that one group make you hate what God gave you that's going to impact the 99. That's what we do. We let one person destroy our perspective and our release for the 99. <laughs> so the 42, that 21. I believe God. Well, tomorrow morning, I'll see you here at the House of Mandate. Our service, we have communion service tomorrow. I'm ready. I'm ready for God. I'm ready. I go, I'm picking up my dream. I'm running. Shemekah, we got work to do. 
Marcus, we got work to do. Sade, we got work to do. Dominique, we got work to do. Crystal, we got work to do. We got work to do. Somebody's waiting on you to finally say it's done. So that 42, that 142. I'm waiting to hear from you. Dial that number. All right, Tamar Oates, Dominique Brown. Yeah, let's make this Sean Speller, Lynette. We got work to do. We got work to do. All right? I love you. God bless.